Hello, digital card fighters. Hopefully this future look into series really helps out for anybody that's trying to budget and build their decks. Maybe you find out, hey, this deck, you kind of need to mandate these cards. Hopefully this helps you guys get that firm foundation of what old set cards do I need to worry about and what new set cards I need to worry about. Because sometimes you don't get enough time to get all the cards you want. And I understand that. Most people just can't. Like... Even for me, I'm limited to 100 and packs a month through climbing and everything like that because, again, even though I'm a streamer and a content creator, I can't just keep following money into games, right? So you want to become free to play, right? But maybe there's a deck you want to play, but you don't know what old stuff because we're so far ahead that you need to grab from. So without further ado, let's dive right in and check out Angel Feathers since they are going to be the new Celestials coming in and everybody is so excited for them. And especially since Astros Official will be probably building multiple deck profiles and coming back to Vanguard Zero, doing crazy things with them. I can't wait. I'm going to probably be as excited for Angels as he is. But without further ado, let's dive right in. <sighs> so, like with taking a future look series i take a look at old cards to tell you guys hey pick this up and maybe pick up this card as well because it is important in both cycles and i'll also introduce new cards because i think having the old cards unless they are important aren't necessarily needed to be explained on because again you might not want to play them so first off i think um for starters why sunny Smile Angel is still one of the better cards. Um, being able to on hit when it boosted, draw a card, put back and gain a fifth heal is sometimes just very vital into a lot of strategies with Angel Feathers. It's not even funny, but she will be replaced by the first aid Celestial Pen Penel. Because Counterblast put this unit into Soul to call a Celestial from your damage zone, put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. If you call the face down card, turn that, the card you put into your damage zone face down. Celestials are a very interesting group of cards. Um, they are about having same name as your Vanguard to activate your effects. So again, being able to cycle in triggers and everything like that. I mean... Units that are named is very important, so we're going to be looking for key cards like that. So with Celestial, this is probably your main starter. If not, Sunny will be your extra one. So next, we could definitely say um, Pure Keeper Requiel would be very interesting to keep, but <laughs> this card gets cycled out because, again, you guys get a new PG in this set. So... First off, you definitely want to get your Battle Cupid No CL because one place you may put a card from your hand into damage zone. If you do, add a card from your damage zone to hand. So being able to cycle out your cards and put the name cards you in, very important in this deck. I gotta say, there's not many times you don't want to have it. And for other people that might think they need some extra damage, I think Dr. Nord Marcos being a way of putting damage into your damage zone might help out as well just to make sure your limit break four is active so we're going to skip over a lot of these cards because i don't see many use in practicality for them but thousand ray pegasus is definitely going to be used even to this day because the fact is it gains power when, when the card is put into your damage zone and since we move a lot of cards in and out this card still sees competitively viable play so you guys definitely want to pick it up because even though it's a common, it'll be easy to craft. You don't have to dive too far into the rabbit hole for it. Um, another card that you might like to use is Unlying Ces Celestial Hesedel. So during your turn, if Solidify Celestial Zachariel is in your damage zone, this unit gets plus 3,000. Not bad, not bad. But here's a little nifty tidbit that most people don't know about. Um how hardcore these celestials are those blue wings aren't naturally blue wings they do not have them they are a life choice they cut off their old wings and they plant new ones 
these blue wings are the new representation and that is their serving of their beliefs and everything like that so guys no celestials are like hardcore um here is the new pg Atomo celestial nl so you'll definitely be playing this because you want to be put to damage five and be able to survive so that's definitely a big one new card is ordo celestial you yeah, Quinn. So when placed, if Zacharel is in your damage zone, can be face down. You may discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. Again, such a heavy reliant on your Vanguard, Zacharel, that again these two probably get subsided because of the cards I mentioned before are still just so better played. But you probably will play her because of the fact is she can if you put her into the damage zone and call her a few times. No matter what, she is drawing you cards, so you can constantly keep her out of range of being retired, but she is constantly usable. So I think maybe seeing her at one or two might be surprising in some decks. You will be not surprised when you see this. And then you have Marking Celestial Arpica. So during your turn, if your Vanguard is Celestial, this unit gets plus 3,000. If you guys don't have the cards in and you just want to play a pure celestial deck, you'll definitely be playing this. If not, no worries. What and then Trender Pigeon is Tender Pigeon is one place one of your other units gets plus two thousand. You don't see much play of her. I'm gonna be honest with you. And then Drugstore Nurse, <laughs> um, when this unit is boosts a unit with Limit Break four, it gets plus three thousand until the end of battle. Nine K booster don't need it because the fact is pegasus gets to be 9k this doctor doctoroid um Meg megalos um definitely you could pick him up he wouldn't be a bad pickup target because you want to definitely have him next we have love machining gun no cl so when placed you may put a card from your hand into the damage zone if you do add a card from your damage zone to hand so love machining no cl if you don't get her from the packs, the second one after the Jewel Knights card is her. So, guys, remember, you don't have to run into getting Love Machine Gun Nocia if you're planning on climbing ladder, but I definitely recommend grabbing her because she is really good. Um, you have Millennium Ray Pegasus if you want to have that as an option. I don't think he's very useful in my opinion. You might be able to see more play with him. But you'll probably be playing Core Memory Armoros because when this unit attack hits, counter blast two to draw a card. Very useful in the practicality. So drawing two very much helps to keep hand size well. Then you have Candle Celestial Cyril. Luckily, this is a double R. So guys, I recommend you picking up at least three to four of this. So when placed, counter blast to put any card from your damage zone face up, face down. And put a card from your damage zone into your drop zone. So, <laughs> basically guaranteeing yourself to get your Celestial. You're going to counter blast the card you want. Well, it's going to flip the card face down. You're going to take that card. Swap it in with your Zerachiel. And then boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Your deck is completely alive. Then you have Wild S S Shot Celestial Regal. So during a turn, if your Vanguard is a Celestial, this unit gets plus... Three, it's a normal 12k if you guys want to play that you can there's no limitations i think she is really good i might recommend you either play her or this one essential celestial becca because 10k and this is a 12k attacker you know you see what you need to do then we have capsule gifts nurse during your turn if you have a unit with the break four this unit gets plus 3000 12k beat stick <laughs> you won't really play that um then you have doctor dockeroid argus so when this unit attacks kind of last one to gain plus four thousand basically worse versions of this one if you're not playing celestials next let's go over other ones we're into the grade threes now medical gunner um hermit her Hermeris. so when this unit attack hits a banger kind of blast put this unit into Put it into the damage zone, call a card other than herself from damage zone to face down. If you call the face down card, turn this card face down. Not bad, not bad. You definitely will see play with this card. It's still viable. I don't think most decks will ever remove her. 
And then... That's weird. There we go. So we have Electrum Illa. So when you, your other grade 3 unit is placed, this unit gets plus 3,000. I don't see this played at all. Mobile Hospital Epsilon. I don't see this card ever played. So let's go over Zerakiel because Zerakiel is like the bread and butter. So Limit Break at the start of the, your battle. Put a Celestial Rear Guard into your damage zone. Face down to... If you put a card, call a Celestial from your damage zone to the same rear guard. In addition, if Zerachiel is in your damage zone, can be face down. This unit gets the following ability until the end of turn. All your units get plus 3,000. So that's why it's important to get a Zerachiel into your damage zone as soon as possible to make. So you can reiterate damage and hit because the fact is you definitely want to be able to hit. So with that, guys, remember Counterblast 2 to gain plus 5,000. And then Prophecy Celestial Remiel. So when Rotopon, your Vanguard gets plus 10,000, every single one. Look at a top three cards of your deck, put a card from your damage zone, return the rest of your deck. After that, add a card from your damage zone to hand. So if you put a D PG in there, because in the three, you're going to want to do that, then boom. Ta-da! You get a PG back. So when this unit attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of the turn. Definitely, these are your bread and butter of a Celestial deck. And then we have Spear... Spiral Celestial um, Helm. So Limit Break 4, Counter Blast. To put a card from your hand into your damage zone. Just you wait. Add a card from your damage zone to your hand. If you added a face down card, turn the card you put into the damage zone face down. And that you, this unit gets plus 5,000 in the turn. And Spiral Celestial Helm is in your damage zone. Can be face down. This unit gets critical plus 1. So counter blast one to get plus 2,000 until the end of turn. This is what I'm talking about. These are your three cores. This will be your main pickups. So definitely have triple R's ready for this. And that is a double R. Um, you also have booting celestial Selim Helfa. And then, you know, she is very useful when this unit attacks counter blast one to get plus 3,000. You're really not going to want to use that. Then you have re reverse... Aura Phoenix, so at the end of the battle. At, at the start of your main phase, put a card from your damage zone to the bottom of your deck. Put the top card of your deck into the damage zone. This unit gets 3,000. Again, pointless cards. <laughs> good for budgets. I will definitely agree with that. They're good budget cards. And then Mobile Hospital Assault Hospice. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gets plus 5,000 until the end of the turn. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gets plus 2,000. Not played. <laughs> These three cards you just don't see play, sadly. These cards will in Celestial decks, but if you want to play them outside of Celestials, you might see some benefit in doing so, but since Celestial is like a key focus deck that needs to focus on key components being where they need to be, you don't want to risk it for anything else. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you really like this glance into each clan. Unless you guys want it into one video, I can do that. But I feel like having these individual individualized videos will help you guys pick the clan you want to watch. And pick the clan that just fits better for you in the long run. So guys, remember to, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!